What do you think is the biggest misconception that young people have about being an adult? Oh, oh I love this question. Biggest. It's my mis- favorite question. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I, I think it's that adults are a lot different from being young. <laughs> you, you know, it, it, it's funny. Like if I look back at the drama that, that, I, I felt when I was younger and like the arguments people had, the the things people got into conflict, conflict with one another over. <laughs> it's funny how a lot of that doesn't change. You know, p- people are still uh, worrying about the same things. People are still, uh, you know, kind of troubled by the same things. They're arguing about the same things. Now, the arguments sound more developed <laughs> because, you know, people have had more time to accumulate experiences and things like that. But it's funny how how little some things change. Oh, and, and another thing is how many people are pretending in their current situation? Um, how many people are, you know, there's this idea of faking it until you make it. So many people do this. And so, and the people that sometimes rise to the top are the people that are best at, at pretending <laughs> and just learning as they go and accumul- accumulating new skills as they go. They're the ones that kind of step up and say, oh, I'll, I'll do that. I, I can I, be, not maybe necessarily because they know how, but because they know and are positive that they could figure out how to do that thing. And so it's kind of interesting to see people grow into their level of, um, you know, how competent they believe they can be rather than how competent they actually are. They kind of, um, their ambition is one step ahead of the point that they've grown to. Um, Oh man, I feel there there are so many things I wish I could tell my my younger self here, but like that that's such a big one is just how many people um and, and how a lot of the things that are true about your mind um will stay with you. You know, if you worry when you're younger, you'll probably worry when you're older. Um and, and so like figure those things out. Uh b- bring some mindfulness to to, to the way that your mind operates and and observe these these things as they're happening in your mind because you know you have to be in your mind for your entire life and so like decorate it a little bit and uh, make it a nice place to be like put some curtains up and and like vacuum the floor every once in a while <laughs> yeah uh, you mentioned you mentioned your wife what's your best advice for uh, maintaining a healthy relationship? Oh, really listen to people when they talk. Um, Wait until you hear the period at the end of people's sentences before you, never mind respond, but think about what you're going to say. Because, you know, we, I think we all have this tendency where our mind constructs things to say as we're listening to somebody else say something. And if you can kind of set that aside and just be with somebody deeply and intimately, you'll make them feel as though they're the most important person in the world. And really, they should be, right? The most important person in the world is always the person that is right in front of you, right? Regardless of whether you're conversing with somebody or looking in a mirror. Um, And so really listening to people and trying to uh, think after people say things and not while they say things. Um, That is so much easier said than done. And this is a skill that um, I'm still developing over time. um, And I'm not perfect at it. And I don't think anybody is. Um, But I, I find that the more I move in that direction, the, the deeper that my relationships become in a really uh, satisfying and, and happy way. Yeah. And this, and this goes back to this whole, this brings it all for a circle with the focus when you're listening, right? Yeah. Because uh, not only by improving your focus are you improving your work, but you're also improving 
your relationships, in my opinion, when you when you actually pay attention to what the person's saying. Um, yeah, yeah. What do you think? What do you think is a measurement of a good life? How do we know when mm. we can look around and be like, okay, this is this is a good life? So when I graduated from university, I, I received a few full time job offers, but um, I declined them all because I wanted to spend a year of my life exploring my weird interest, which was is productivity. Um, some people have normal interests. That's always been mine. Um, and from the outside, you know, everybody said, oh, it's such a risky decision. You know, it's so risky. Um, but in my view, the riskier thing would have been not doing it because I would have had so much regret about what could have happened. And so I, I find that the more decisions I make that minimize the amount of regret that I feel, um, the happier I feel about how I've spent my time. And so I hope that when I get to the end of life and I'm looking back and measuring things, I think, you know, I really don't have any regrets. I really took the path of least regret every single step of the way. And maybe my perspective will change over the decades that are to come in my life. And I, I hope it does. I hope I keep improving how I view my own life. And, um, but maybe it won't. <laughs> and so my current answer for you, we could check up in a decade, um, is, uh, is that I've minimized regret. My last question is, if you had a minute with your younger self, what would you tell him? I don't think that I would tell my younger self anything. Hmm. I think, you know, it's kind of like when you go back in time and you, you, you fiddle with time and so you change the course that things are going to take. Um, I don't want to mess any of this up, <laughs> you know, uh, what, one of my biggest, uh, um, feelings that I, that I like to practice is gratitude, you know, looking around and just seeing and, and feeling things to be grateful. I'm grateful to be talking to you right now. I, I'm grateful for my wife. I'm grateful for this piano right here. I'm grateful to have this nice mic and this camera um, and this light that makes my forehead look a bit reflective now that I look at it. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, gr I'm grateful for it all, right? And, and, and so I, I don't want to mess any of that up. Um, and to want things to be different is, I think, to not appreciate them as they are. Um, and so I don't want to change the course of anything. I, I, would, I, I would just hang out with my younger self and... Um, and maybe we'd play Mario Kart or something. Just chill. Yeah, yeah chill we'd just chill. <laughs> <laughs> I'd bring I'd bring a bag of Doritos and we would just play Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer. <laughs> <laughs>